Die Die TV. Watch and subscribe on YouTube and listen on your podcast platform. Hi everybody, Jerry Taggart here. Now be sure to watch Chris and Lester Till I Die TV by subscribing on YouTube and following them on social media for all the latest Leicester City news and information. Come on, you foxes! Strap yourself in because we're set up, switched on, and ready to go. to the Lesser Till I Die Transfer Show. In today's episode, we'll be looking at Ryan Bertrand. So Ryan Bertrand, he's a 31-year-old left-back and he's currently a free agent at the moment. He was previously at Southampton for a few years and his contract ended yesterday or the day before and now he's a free agent. So obviously, as a free agent, we won't have to pay any transfer fee, which obviously is great, you know, so we'll just have to be the wages we are worried about. And I haven't got found an exact figure of his wages, but they're nothing excessive. It's like a fairly standard Premier League wage, so definitely won't be breaking the bank if we sign him, which is looking fairly likely at the moment. So we've been linked to him for either a one or two year deal. There's been mixed reports. Obviously, originally it looked like he wanted a two year deal and the club wanted a one year deal, and now it looks like it, either of them have compromised. I'm not sure which one it's going to be, but basically he's going to be brought in more as a squad player by the looks of it. So originally, when I first heard the reports, this was a couple of months ago, I didn't think much of it, and I was sort of mixed feelings of it. I thought, you know, he might not be the best signing we should go for. He's not going to, you know, necessarily take us to the next level. But we don't necessarily, I guess, need a player that's going to do that because we've got good players in that position already. Like we've got Castagna, James Justin and Luke Thomas who can all play that position and they're all very good at that. We just need someone who can fill in when we do get injuries towards the back half of the season as well as fill in when we do have the congested fixture slot with the Europa League week in, week out. So defensively, he's solid, you know, he gets the job done. He's nothing amazing, but he's not poor either. Like, he gets the job done and very handy to have. Like, obviously, he'll provide great experience, particularly for, like, the younger guys like JJ and Luke Thomas, who are both coming up through the ranks, and to have someone with his experience who's played at the Premier League for many years would be great. So in terms of, like, what he offers going forward, he doesn't offer a hell of a lot. Like, he's not one of your attacking sort of wing backs, if you like, so he's not going to be going up and down the pitch will be I guess sort of similar to Danny Simpson except on the other side like he'll go up occasionally but generally he'll be staying back and just sort of supporting from the back. So he started off his career at Chelsea then he got loaned out a heap of times like what seems to happen with most Chelsea players they get bought by them and then get sent out on loan about five or six times at least before they break into the side and that's exactly what happened with him you know he had I think close to seven or eight different loan deals before he actually got into the first side and he spent a few years in the main senior squad at Chelsea before he made the switch to Southampton. So to put into perspective how, I guess, much of an impact he had at Chelsea, he only played 28 games for them and he was contracted them for eight seasons. So, yeah, didn't necessarily work out from there. But he's moved to Southampton since and he's been a lot better. Like he's getting week in, week out games and been like their main left back ever since. So you'll probably end up playing about half of the games thereabouts or probably a bit under just depending on how injuries and everything go. Like I see him probably having a ma much bigger role I guess in the Europa League than in the Premier League and these Premier League games will probably come when we've got congested fixtures and everything like that and we need other players to be given a rest. So we'll probably see a fair bit of him in the early stages of the season when we've got the Europa League group stage because obviously we won't have JJ as cover for that so the, like, the only fullbacks we'd have fit would be him, Luke Thomas, Castanian, Ricardo, and you could think that 
Castagne and Ricardo be rotating guests on the right hand side, then we'd probably then have uh, Thomas and Bertrand rotating on the left hand side throughout a um, heavy fixture congestion that we have at the start. It wouldn't be a saying that's definitely going to set the world alight by any means, and originally I was a bit disappointed about this because I th like we'd been linked with Robin Gosens, but we I guess we don't really need to play like Robin Gosens at the moment. Like there's other pl parts of the pitch that we want to spend those 30, 40 million on to bring in a really good player that will be a game changer where. All we really need in our defence at the moment is just someone who can provide cover because we've seen the last couple of seasons, we just need that extra person who can provide cover when there is injuries or suspensions. So I think because of how it's a deal that we don't actually have to pay a transfer fee for, I'm kind of happy with this happening. Obviously, if we did have to pay a fee, it would probably be not as good because he's a sort of player that we don't really want to be spending a fee on when we can be spending our transfer fees, which obviously can be quite expensive nowadays to, on a bigger player that will be a game changer whereas him would be getting him for free and he'd just be providing extra depth which is what we need at the moment because we've seen in the last two seasons like at the latter part both times it's just been squad depth that's killed us in the end and if we can just continue to build our squad depth which is what we're doing like I say if we get him our defense is pretty solid we might just need one more center back and then we'd be pretty much sorted for the season so he's a really good signing to actually make on a free I mean he is obviously 32 in a month or two but I mean, you look at him now, he's still a starter for probably most sides in the Prem, aside from maybe maybe the top six or seven teams. Other than that, he'd be a starter for most sides. So he's got definitely got some great ability to him, and he'd be great to have around the club, I'd say. Hello, Matt Elliott here. Be sure to watch Leicester Till I Die TV on YouTube and follow all their social media platforms for all the latest updates and news on Leicester City Football Club. Thanks for watching Leicester Till I Die. This is Chris saying goodbye and see you next time. doesn't have to stop here. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, head over right now to Twitter and Facebook and like, share and get involved. Join us next time.